Credit rating agency Standard & Poor's declared Argentina to be in default after the country's last-minute talks with a court-appointed mediator failed to reach a settlement with holdout creditors. Despite two days of intense negotiations led by Argentina's economy minister, Axel Kisilov, the country could not make a deal. As its deadline to make a payment towards its restructured bonds expired at 2am, the country fell into default, its second in 13 years. Certain banks in the country proposed to buy out the non-performing debt held by hedge funds and avert a default, but the deal collapsed. Eric Lecomte, executive director of the religious debt relief group Jubilee USA Network, said Argentina never would have defaulted and holdouts would have been forced to sit at the table if we had an international bankruptcy process in place. In the coming months, we'll continue to see the G20 to the IMF to try and stop this extreme predatory behaviour. Argentina has been engaged in a long legal battle with hedge funds led by Elliott Management and Aurelius, which refuse to take part in the country's debt restructuring. About 92% of the country's creditors agree to swap debts and accept less money. In a major blow to the government, US judge Thomas Greiser earlier gave a ruling that bars Argentina from paying the holders of its restructured debt unless it pays the hedge funds. Following the adverse order from Greiser, Argentina claimed that if the country paid the suitors on their terms, it would lead to claims from other holdouts of around $15 billion in debt. The government's coupon payment to restructured bondholders through a New York bank had earlier been blocked by Greiser.